Welcome back. An update on our News 4 Tucson investigation into an off-campus student housing complex facing more outrage this evening from tenants and their parents as students return to classes at the University of Arizona. Of course, Nylander was the first reporter to discover mounting code violations there against the property. Now the city may shut down that property. He has more on tonight's News 4 Tucson investigation. For more than three months, we've been looking into safety concerns at Soli Luna twin off campus student housing complexes off of Park and Tyndall, just a few blocks from campus. After we first exposed several safety issues, it seems the problems have only gotten worse. I feel like um, I should not be outside after dark. I should always come back to my apartment, lock my doors before the sun goes down. In May, Grace Scram told the News 4 Tucson investigators she feared for her safety living here at Soli Luna. It didn't take us long to discover she wasn't alone. It is terrifying. I get scared too. Ryan Pileggi showed us bullet holes that were scattered across the outside of the building, which we later learned were connected to a group of people being held up at gunpoint inside an elevator here just before the end of school in May. Police say a gunman fired 15 rounds toward the building. No one was injured. No arrests made. As a parent, right, um, it's just it's really concerning. Over the weekend, students moved in for the return to classes at the University of Arizona. We received multiple calls and emails from parents like Jason Hayek worried about what they saw. Jason helped move his daughter in. He said the lobby door was wide open without any staff watching who enters. There was garbage overflowing the hallways, the door to his daughter's room unable to lock. He filmed this door to an electrical room wide open. You got hundreds of people moving in, all kinds of issues. They're locking the office doors. They don't have the staff. And it's, it's almost like a free-for-all. This is, this is probably the most worried I've ever felt about either of my kids. Michelle McPherson also moved her daughter in over the weekend. She saw the same issues Jason did, but is most worried about boxes, she says, were blocking walkways and exit signs not working properly. It's probably horrible to say, but I'm grateful she's on the second floor because I feel like she'd have a little better chance of survival, which I cannot even believe I'm thinking that. In June, the News 4 Tucson investigators discovered multiple code violations against the building, including some fire hazards. The city issued citations, but to this day, many of the now more than 30 different violations have gone unresolved. There's a pending court hearing. Well, here we go again. Soli Luna is in City Council Member Steve Kazachik's Ward 6. He says he's tired of trying to work with the property owners, Nelson Partners, to fix the issues. If they don't abate within, uh, give us, give us a, a good clear sign that they're going to abate within a reasonable time, 24, 48 hours. Uh, then we will take action to try and shut them down. Nelson Partners sent us a statement saying they are working to address a list of issues, saying, quote, we are the largest student community in the Tucson market, and with the building at almost capacity, we are working on streamlining efficient processes, adding additional staff. The city inspector came by this week, and we are on track to complete any of the violations, and he did not say they will shut down the building. We want to service the students and parents of University of Arizona and have a wonderful living environment. We discovered the property is currently up for sale. It's unclear if there are any buyers. If you have a story you'd like us to investigate, email us at investigators at kvoa.com or call our tip line at 520-955-4444. Investigating for you, Cora Snylander, News 4 Tucson.